Hi, Julian. It's Nancy. Um, I wanted to address the issue that you were confused when you've got a workflow uh, send for approval and a current published in the revision state. And um, I'm just as confused as you are because I was not able to recreate it. So let me just show you. So if I select all the send for approvals in workflow, um, I see that you've got current published and uh, send for approval. And there's not a lot of them. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They were all done yesterday, it looks like. And uh, when I checked the records, they were all uh, done by Elena. So number one, I think we should see what exactly she's doing. Uh, when I went to try and recreate it, I just went to a, because it's currently published, it had to be live, uh, quote unquote, published in the workflow. So I'm going to take one that um, is I know is just a test, and I'm going to try and recreate it. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go down to the bottom. And uh, the only thing that I can think that she's doing is that she's clicking on Send for Approval, moving it from the live state. But when I do that, and I'm in as an administrator, the same role that she is, and I click on Save, I end up with, hold on, I got to get back to send for approval. I end up with revision pending. So I'm not sure what she's doing to get to, so that current published is staying current published. Um, if I were to go in here, oops, that's not really what I wanted to do. Forget about that last step. But if I were to go in here to this draft pending, publication and publish this when I go back to my content summary you can see that I've got a current published in a workflow live um, so I'm confused so we need to see what Elena's doing I hope that helps